When I'm drawing objects in AutoCAD, I'm always drawing them to their actual size. And I'm always drawing them in model space. The amount of area that I have available in model space is almost unlimited. So one of the first things I need to define when I'm starting a new drawing is the limits or the amount of model space that I want to be using when I'm making my drawing. So for example, I could be drawing a small mechanical part that would only require a small amount of model space. Or I could be drawing something large, like the design of a house that would require hundreds of square feet of drawing space. So let's look at the process of setting the limits. I'm going to start a new drawing. I'll start from the default ACAD template. To define the limits, I'm going to type it from the keyboard and hit enter. If you look down on the command line, it says specify the lower left corner. And in the angle brackets, we see the default setting is 0, 0. If you look in the lower left corner of your drawing area, you see the WCS icon showing X and Y. In its default position, the WCS icon shows the origin or zero, zero point of our X and Y coordinate system. Generally, when I'm setting the limits, I always set the lower left corner to zero, zero, so I'll hit enter to accept the default. Next, I need to specify the upper right corner of my limit area giving its X and Y coordinate entry. You can see in the angle brackets that the default is currently at 12 on the X and 9 on the Y axis. If I wanted to define my limits as a regular size sheet of paper so I could see what I was drawing in relation to that, I could set it to 11 on the X, comma, 8.5 on the Y and hit enter. I've now reset my limits. So let's see how my limits influences the way that my drawing is displayed in the drawing window. I'm going to start by doing a zoom all command to zoom my drawing window to my limits. Now let's draw a rectangle in this window. Now if I want to look closely at just this rectangle, I can do a zoom extents display command. So I'll say Z from the keyboard, enter, and E for extents. And it shows me just that rectangle. If I want to get back to seeing my drawing area, I say Z for zoom, enter, and A for zoom all. That takes me back to my drawing limits. As long as nothing is drawn outside of my limit area, my zoom all command will always take me back to my limits. But you're not kept from drawing just inside the limits. Say for example right now I get a circle and I want a 11 inch diameter circle and so I enter 11 not realizing that this is the radius rather than the diameter. I hit enter it looks like nothing has happened. And when actually I've drawn a very large circle outside my limits. Z, enter, A, enter to zoom all. And now, instead of taking my limits, it takes me to the extents because this is outside of my limits area. If I erase this too large circle, zoom all again, Z, enter, A, enter, it takes me back to my limits.